Good morning, dear students. I, Miss J. Shri, here with our subject EVS. Dear students, yesterday we learned about different kinds of animals where they are living and they are different and different features. Students, different types of animals and birds they are having different colors too. One or two colors are there in each animals. But when we are going to observe a peacock, there are many colors in the peacock. The egret is in white color. The crow is having black color. The buffalo is also having black color. But the peacock is having many colors on its body. It means there are different animals and they are having different colors too. Like human beings. Human beings also having different types of height, weight and their fingerprints also different. Students, we are observing here different kinds of animals. Now, we will see how they are? Some animals are big and some animals are small. The horse and the bullock are the large in size. The goat and the dog are medium in size and the mouse and squirrel are small. The earthworm and the cockroach are smaller still. Gnats and ants are very tiny indeed. Students, these are the different kinds of animals. No one are same. No one is same. And their height, their weight, their color, their shape, all things are different. Nature has prepared them in a different way. Each and everything is special in them. Their features are different and their works are also different. Students, they are moving. How we are walking and going from one place to another place like that same way different animals are moving from one place to another place. But their movements are different. When we are going to observe the squirrel, squirrel is a small animal and with the help of their small nibbles, they can climb anywhere on any tree quickly and fastly. Students, observe the elephant. Elephant's body is bulky. Its legs are heavy. Because of that, elephant cannot run fast. Instead of elephant, when we are going to observe the deer, deer is having thin legs and because of that reason, deer can run fast. And our frog, everyone, everyone knows about the frog because now monsoon season is going on and we are listening the sound of frog. Dear students, frog is having long legs. Because of that, it can hop, jump and take the leap very fastly. Do you understand how frog is jumping? Now, you have to solve two questions which I will give you as a homework. Here are these questions. Which animals can run very fast? Just think and write the answer. Which animals can move very slowly? That you have to write in your notebook. Copy two times. Here we cannot stop. For tomorrow's study, you have to read the next page of our lesson, page number 9. Students, and I will show you two questions 
in the video that two questions you have to think about those questions and find out this answers tomorrow i will tell the answers in the video thank you